I'm Michael Kriegsman. I'm an industry analyst and the host of CXO Talk. And we're speaking with John Hirschstick. He is the founder of On Shape, which is a PTC company. John, how are you? Good, Michael. As I speak with business leaders across multiple domains, culture seems to emerge as one of the core factors of digital transformation. The cultural aspect of digital transformation is very important, Michael. And what we're seeing is, I think, first and foremost, we're seeing the new generation of workforce coming out of schools and, and the uh, younger people coming in with very digitally transformed lifestyles. They're ahead of the curve on this. They're used to collaborating. It, you know, the, the, the new generation workforce that's grown up with video games, the internet, YouTube, they're used to globally collaborating. That's not a new idea of digital transformation. That's something they do every day on video games. You know, that's, that's very familiar to them to jump in and join a collaborative team in a 3D world. That's not industrial digital transformation to them. That's like, of course, that's how things work. You know, to them, their personal life is way ahead of industrial digital transformation norms. In the, in the companies, in the existing companies, it's the same old story. There's innovators and then there's followers, you know, and the innovators see what need to be done and they top down force their company to new styles of working and the, the followers or resistors stick with the old ways. You know, you can take a new tool, but that won't necessarily let you work in a better way. You have to change how you work, change your process much harder than changing software or tools. Are traditional product designers making that cultural shift? I think traditional product designers are making a cultural shift in some cases. You know, in some cases, it really, I think, I think it comes down to how much are you embracing these technologies outside of your work life is a leading indicator and a barometer of how much you'll embrace them inside your work life. I think in order to be an innovator, you have to be willing to spend time looking at things that don't even seem relevant to what you're doing. You know, you have to be somebody who says, I'm going to I'm going to just learn about this because it's different and new. They should be inspired by the tools and processes they see in other parts of the world and they can bring those to how they develop products. So if you're a product designer or product developer, what are the pieces that need to be in place that you must put in place in order to be hyper agile and be super competitive, just as you were describing. To be hyper agile and super competitive as a product developer, you need to put several pieces in place. One, you need to be willing to change your process completely. You need to be open minded and say, I'm going to do things differently. Two, you need to be a risk taker because the first time you do it, it's not going to all go perfectly. Okay. Three, um, you need to have the right team because no product is built by one person. And so if your team isn't selected to be compatible with this or they don't buy into it, it's going to be a problem. Four, you need the right tools. Okay. Five, you need the right project. Not all projects are ready for hyper agile. If you're in the middle of, of a big long-term design project, maybe you don't switch it. You have to pick the right project. A bunch of things have to come together. <laughs>